Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we will solve this interesting question on OPAM with diodes. So here in the question what have they uh, given us? Basically we have three resistors and two diodes are connected in opposite fashion and they are asking us to determine the output voltage of the OPAM and the diodes are not actually ideal. They have a cut-in voltage of 0.7 volts and the input right is sine 2D. So how should, should we proceed in these type of questions? So whenever these types of questions are given, right, what you should do is firstly, you should assume any state. So what is the simplest for me? Simplest state for me, I will assume that both of the diodes D1 and D2 are off. Okay, so I will copy this circuit. I will copy this circuit. Paste it over here. And name these diodes as D1 and D2. D1 and D2. And they will then I will assume that assume both D1 and D2 are off okay so that is the case now if they both of them are off right then how will the currents look like and how will the voltages across the doubts look like that we'll observe so if I turn both D1 and D2 off so what will happen basically here is that both of them will be open circuit if both of them are open circuit and the potential will be measured something like this for this right we measure the potential across the diode from p to n so this will be plus minus vd1 and this will be plus minus vd2 okay so now how is the voltage is looking like so here right, the current through this are zero okay so vd1 will be equals to what vd1 will actually be equals to minus of vo and vd2 will actually be equals to plus of vo because vd2 is measured in this direction right and here virtual will assume that virtual ground is applicable why because a feedback is always present uh, that is the first criteria and second criteria is open base already ideal so VGC is applicable. VGC VGC is applicable. Okay. So this is the first thing. So now I can compute my output voltage. How will my output voltage look like? So here this is my view right so i can simply apply a key at this non in uh, inverting terminal of the op amp so this will be 0 minus v in divided by 5 kilo plus 0 minus vo divided by 2.5 kilo equals to 0 so my vo will be equals to what vo will be equals to minus vi divided by 2 p will be equals to minus vi divided by 2 so that is uh, the case one so next is uh, and like what is the voltage basically so for this diode to be on right for VD1 to be on basically it, its voltage needs to be more than 0.7 volts so basically VD1 has to be greater than 0.7 or minus VO has to be greater than uh, because VD1 is equals to minus VO right when they are off minus VO has to be greater than uh, this minus vi uh, sorry uh, minus v has to be greater than 0.7 and what is vo vo is minus vi by 2 so this will become vi by 2 has to be greater than 0.7 okay so vi has to be greater than 1.4 now is that possible for this first case right it is never possible because by sign right sign will actually never cross uh, 1 volts the peak value for this sine wave is 1 volt so it will never cross the 1 volt threshold so not possible not possible so d1 always off let's go to the next case so for next case right again vd2 needs to be greater than 0.7 so what is vd2 basically vd2 is plus vo so vo needs to be greater than 0.7 or vi by 2 needs to be greater than 0.7 again the same case that 
VI has to be greater than 1.4 volts. Again, it is not possible. That was like uh, my VI cannot go below 1 volts, minus 1 volts, and it cannot go above 1 volts. So, again, not possible. So, D2 is also always off. So, basically, how will my output voltage look like? So, output voltage, I'll just come quickly compare with respect to the input voltage here. The input voltage is a sine waveform with peak of 1 volts. So it will be something like this. It will My drawing won't be perfect. But mostly it will be like this. Okay. And the... View will be what? As both the diodes are always off, so our assumed state was actually correct. Hence, VO will be just the inverted version and obviously the attenuated version because VO is VI by 2. So, here the peak will reduce by half. So, it will be somewhat like this. It will be totally inverted, right? And its peak also will be lesser. Yeah. My... Like apologies for my drawing because it is not perfect. I'm trying to make it perfect. Okay, let's do this. We'll do this because it is inverted, right? Whenever this will be positive, this will be negative because it has a negative sign associated as well because it is a negative feedback. I hope you understand. So this time, right, the peak will actually be from plus 0.5 to minus 0.5, and this peak will be one over two. Minus one volt. Okay, so this will be your answer. And like question is pretty straightforward. The homework for you is, what if I change this? Okay, what if I change this? Then what will happen? What if this goes to five kilo ohm? Okay, then will the states of the diode change, and how will the output voltage waveform look like? That is the homework for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, you can. Uh, if you want more content right you can like share this video and also we have in our, our website that is perfusion.in comprehensive courses on analog electronics for placement and gate and for other uh, subjects as well you can go and check out our website thank you and happy learning